Hey, what's up, YouTube? Pipe Noob here. Um, still in Kansas. Uh, this is probably the last video that I'll shoot in Kansas for this trip, anyway. And I may not actually be able to get this video posted before um, before I get back to California. So this video may not be posted until Wednesday or Thursday. Kind of depends upon if I can actually get it onto my off my iPad and onto my computer or not. Um, anyway, uh, how y'all doing? It's a beautiful Kansas day here. Uh, Mom's doing great. Um, kind of muggy, but beautiful outside. Uh, let's see, what I thought I'd talk about today is I'd talk about um, uh, different pipe smoking websites and give you my opinions on some of them. Uh, the ones that I use, the ones that I've sort of stopped using, um, why I use them or why I don't, and give some recommendations on where to go and what to do. Um, you know, in the nature of, you know, spreading knowledge noob to noob, right? So let's get right into it. Um, well, hold on a second. Let me get my let me get my pipe packed here. So what am I smoking today? Uh, let's see. I got my Nation pipe, um, and I'm smoking up the last little bit of that uh, Prince Albert that uh, I opened up last week and um, shot a video of. So see my Nation pipe, my uh, 2018 Nation pipe, not the 2017, which. Uh, is more of a cob warden. Uh, so I uh, went motorcycle riding today. My uh, my favorite uncle um, lives here in Hutch and um, loaned me his 2002 Road King and he got on his uh, his heritage uh, and um, we went out to the motorcycle museum in Marquette. Uh, beautiful ride out through central Kansas. Uh, horizon to horizon, deep blue Kansas sky. Milo field to the left, corn field to the right. There's a lot of things I do not miss about living in Kansas, but there are a few things that I love. And uh, a late September day riding through central Kansas is definitely something that I have always loved and always will. Now I'm back home having a little uh, Elijah Craig um, mixed with a little Coke. Everybody's like, oh my God, you mixed Elijah Craig with Coke? Yeah, well. I drank this much of it with no coke, so chill. It's good. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Let me get lit up here. Mom's in the house. Air conditioner's on. Knock the humidity down a little bit. She's napping on the couch with the dog. And uh, I thought I'd talk to y'all. So anyway, let's get into it. Um, websites. Now there's a number of websites that y'all probably know about, and maybe some that you don't. And I'm going to share with you the ones that I use, um, why I use them, and why I don't. So let's uh, let's just run down the list. Did I not bring my pipe tamper out here? Well, shit. I'll use my custom pipe tamper right here. See. Uh, oh, here it is, right here. I'm blind. All right. Okay. I'll list you my two favorite ones right off the bat. Probably not ones you're expecting to hear either. So probably my favorite website is uh, LJ Peretti's. Um, LJ Peretti's is a tobacconist in Boston, and they were like the second tobacco shop in in the country. Uh, they were uh, founded in 1870. Been doing business ever since. Uh, they do a lot of their own custom blends there. They hand carve their own pipes there. At least they used to. I assume they still do. And um, some of their blends are just phenomenal. They're a little bit more expensive, especially for shipping and such, than some other places that you would go. But I tell you what, I really, really like their tobacco blends. If you're a burly smoker especially, I don't think there's anybody in, anybody in the world, let alone the country, that does better burly blends. So you should check them out. Um, also, they do the Thanksgiving Day blend, which uh, I've got a review on here. If you go back to the back catalog, you'll see the Thanksgiving Day blend. That's that's a phenomenally good one. They do it every year. Um, it's the same blend every year. It's not like a different blend all the time. Um, but you should check it out. It's really, really good. Um, and yeah, if you're into Burley, you're, they, nobody does Burley like Peretti. So that's LJ Peretti, L-J-P-E-R-E-T-T-I.com. I'll also put links down to all these sites 
the ones that I recommend anyway, down at the bottom. All right, uh, second of my favorite websites is the Country Squire. Now you've heard me talk about the Country Squire on here. Uh, uh, the Country Squire Online. So spell it out, thecountrysquireonline.com. Uh, that is, I'm, you know, I really want to be able to go to that tobacco shop. Uh, they're in Mississippi, I think. Um, and they do a lot of their own custom blends there. Phenomenally, phenomenally good stuff. Everything I've had from there I liked. Uh, my favorite is the Parsons blend. And it's it's an aromatic. And yeah, you just you, you heard me right. My favorite aromatic is from uh, the Country Squire. Um, Parsons blend, phenomenally good stuff. Uh, they also do a um, number of Tolkien themed ones. Uh, Green Dragon is a Virginia blend. It's really, really good. Um, uh, Old Toby is, uh, I, was, I was sitting in a tobacco shop in Sacramento, uh, smoking up some Old Toby and talking to my uh, uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law. And uh, the owner of the shop came over and asked me what, what that was, because it smelled so good. And so I gave him a bowl full to try out and pointed him at the Country Squire. And, Hopefully he's stocking it now. Um, I haven't been back yet to check, but I wouldn't be surprised if he is. So yeah, check check him out there, the Country Squire online, and they also do a podcast called the Country Squire. Um, great podcast. Uh, they talked about my dog one time on there. Um, so you go back through some of the back episodes, you'll find an episode where they're talking about Cody, and uh, that's my dog, uh, my dog that loves gin and tonics, and you've seen him on here, the little little skinny gray dog. Um, anyway, check him out. Uh, then one that I have not actually gone to yet, but I've heard really, really good stuff about. Sure, I'm smoking too damn much. I'm talking too damn much and not smoking enough. But now I haven't been to this one, but I've been meaning to. And I'll probably uh, probably go there, order something, have it waiting for me when I get home. Uh, I'll be heading home on Wednesday. Uh, that's Boswell Pipes. Um, Boswell's I've heard really, really good things about. Uh, I've talked to quite a few people that shop there. Uh, they love it. They highly recommend it. And I've been meaning to check it out. And that's boswellpipes.com. So give that a try. Uh, if you, you know, I guess they have a whole shit ton of custom blends there that people really, really like. So I've been meaning to try them out and, uh, you know, get a couple, couple two-ounce samplers of this and that and everything else to, to see what I might like there. Now, to get into a couple that I'm not so fond of. Um, I have shopped at these, these places, so I don't want to sound hypocritical. I have shopped there, um, but I'm not too terribly fond of these. Uh, these probably might not come as a big surprise. Um, Pipesandcigars.com. Um, I used to really like them. Um, most of the tobacco sitting in my, in my tobacco cabinet is from Pipes and Cigars. Um, a couple of my pipes are. Not not all of them, but they used to be a lot better than they are now. Every single time I go there now, shit's back ordered, and you never know when it's going to come off back order. Anything that I might want, it's all back ordered, and I get tired of that shit. And then when you do order it, it takes months for it to get to you, you know, because I got to wait for it to come in off back order. It's like they, it's like they never stock shit anymore. And I just get tired of that. I just, I just get really, really fucking tired of it. Uh, I have had good service from them when stuff is in stock, and I get it at a reasonable time. But it's just gotten to where nothing I want is in stock there anymore. And it takes so long for it to come off back order. Even their own like in-house custom blends are not in stock, and they take forever. Which is a shame, because they got a blender there you might have heard of him, and I probably mangle. I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's Russ Ule, I think, or Ulette, or something like that. Great blender. I love his stuff. Um, but, you know, even his stuff, they don't have in stock. You know, it just pisses me off. So I don't really shop at pipesandcigars.com anymore, and I don't, I don't recommend it to people anymore. And then here's a surprising one that's on my list that I never thought I'd put on my list. Um, but that's Four Noggins. Now, I really liked Four Noggins. Got my Falcon from them. I got, you know, some pipes or some tobaccos that, that I, you know, couldn't find the pipes and cigars. I went to Four Noggins. They had it in stock. They got it to me in a timely manner, reasonably priced, a, a good selection of stuff. But they got real involved in politics in this last election. Now, I'm not going to get in politics here. I'm not going to tell you, you know, 
who who I'm for or who I'm against because you know, all don't want to hear that shit from me. You come here to listen about pipe stuff. But my point is they made it a big deal. They made it a big deal for them to get involved in politics, and they were snotty and, and asshole-ish about it. And uh, whether I agreed with their views or not is one thing. Uh, I may or may not have, but I didn't like the way they comported themselves. Uh, I don't like divisiveness. I think um, this country needs to start coming together a lot more. We need to relearn how to compromise. Uh, we need to, to stop thinking that winning is more important than doing the right thing. And, you know, the right answer is not to the right or to the left. The right answer is somewhere right smack in the middle. That's why we have both sides, so we can come to the middle and, you know, get a decent compromise and, and get a decent answer out of it. And they, they were just adding fuel to the fire. And I don't think I don't think a business that's selling me tobacco needs to be doing that. Um, sure, is it their right? Absolutely. Is it is it my right to not shop there anymore? Absolutely. So I don't recommend four noggins anymore. So out of those, let's see, I recommended Peretti, the Country Squire Online, and Boswell's. And I gave kind of a thumbs down to pipesandcigars.com and four noggins. Uh, one place that, that I didn't have on my list that I probably should mention is corncobpipes.com. Now, y'all know how much I love my cobs, okay? Um, corncobpipes.com is Missouri Meerschaum's site. And they don't, you know, I think they do sell a little bit of tobacco there. They have some, uh, some blends that they do that were made by Russ Houlet of the, you know, Pipes and Cigars guy, the guy that I told you I like. And uh, they, do, they have a vapor, uh, Virginia Perique blend called Country Gentleman which is, you know, I smoke Country Gentleman most of the time, uh, which is my favorite model of the corn cob pipe. And I love that tobacco. That tobacco is great. Throw a pouch of that in my pocket and I'm happy. But I'll tell you what's the real deal there. You go in there and they've got a, a bag of seconds and you can get 10 corn cob pipes. <coughs> they're seconds, they're factory seconds for 30 bucks. That's $3 a pipe. And uh, I've, I've gotten a couple bags from them I don't know why they're seconds, to be honest. Uh, they're they're perfectly smokable. They're perfectly fine. I like to keep them on hand. You know, I'm, you know, I'll, I'll hook up a buddy. Hey, here you go. Here, you know, you want a pipe? Oh, here you go. You know, um, I've given away several of them. Uh, I've smoked smoked my way through several of them. Uh, I've got a couple in my rotation right now. So I, I love that place. I love that site. So corncobpipes.com as well. Well, let's see. So there you go. There's a. Uh, Pipe Noob's recommendations on pipe and tobacco websites. So now maybe I can actually get this tobacco lit and smoked because I'm done talking so much. Might be out of lighter fluid. I'll have to refill that as soon as I get done here. So, tell me about your day. Tell me about how things are going with y'all. Things are going good here. Uh, I finished up my contract on Friday. Uh, I have this next week on the bench. Um, getting ready for my, my next contract. And then the following Monday, October 8th, I think it is, I start with a new client. And I'll be back in California for that. Um, I'm actually flying out of here Wednesday, uh, Wednesday morning, late Wednesday morning early afternoon. I don't remember exactly when my flight leaves. And uh, hoping mom will be okay while I'm gone. She's healing really fast. She's doing really good. Gets her uh, stitches taken out on Tuesday. Uh, that's why I'm here. Uh, I was actually planning on leaving yesterday, but um, she needed to get her stitches taken out and I need somebody to drive her to do that because it's probably not going to feel very good. And uh, I Figured I'd stay a couple extra days and help out. But uh, yeah, she's doing great. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, my wife's back in California. She's been a week out here and then she went back and now, I, now I'll be back on Wednesday. Uh, spent the day motorcycle riding uh, with my uncle, my favorite uncle. Uh, we went out to the Motorcycle Museum in Marquette, Kansas and saw a bunch of old Indians. Ah, it was beautiful. Uh, right when you walked in, they had a 1916 and a 1917 board track racer, both Indians. Uh, they had a, uh, a 48 Scout, 
Uh, they had they had a couple Indian mini bikes, which was really cool. I mean, they had it wasn't just Indians there. They had Indians and old Indians and Hendersons and uh, of course Harleys and you know, all sorts of different different. They had a few metrics as well, um, but it was great. It was great, just great little museum, middle of Marquette. You know, walked in, gave him a little bit of a donation because that's the only thing that keeps them open and running. And uh, took some good pictures. And uh, then, you know, went back out and rode back to Hutch. It was, it was a great day. Yeah, there's a lot of things that I, I don't miss about Kansas, but days like today remind me that there's a lot of things good about Kansas as well. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. I'm just making up shit to talk about now. But I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, thank you, y'all. I picked up one or two more new subscribers. And, uh, well, welcome. I don't know what you're expecting, but I hope you get what you want. And I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have a great day, YouTube.